So in Windows, I usually organize my files into folders. I can have a folder, and then within that folder, I can have subfolders. Within that, I can have more subfolders if I want, going down as far. And I can see the, the contents of those folders there. Uh, and similarly, in Google Docs, if I want to have my things organized, I can put them in collections, which are like, they're like folders. So if I want to create a new collection, I can click the red Create button, and I'll make a, uh, an example collection. And then once I have that collection created, I see it listed under my collections there. If I want to create a sub-collection within that collection, one of my choices, if I mouse over it on the down carrot there, one of my choices is Create. And I can create new documents or presentations or things in the collection, or I can create a new sub-collection. And I'll call this one Example Sub-Collection. Okay, so now I can see I've got my collection with my sub-collection in it. Let's say I have an existing document that I've already created, or I'm going to upload it. I can go to Home, and see here's my, my document, and I can just drag it over and drop it into the collection. Now if I go and I look in the example sub-collection, let's say later I decide I want this to be not in the sub-collection, but in the collection, I can just drag it and drop it over to there. So this is how you can use collections to duplicate or, or emulate what you do usually in Windows to organize files.